Welcome to the QuickTub Step in Bath and Shower Conversion System instructional video. In this video, Bob will take you through the steps to properly install the QuickTub Tub to Shower Conversion Kit for an extra deep walkthrough insert. This includes prep, cutting of the tub, cutting the insert, and installing. Each kit may include the following items. Insert, cap, cardboard tub marking templates, adhesive, and in the case of the extra deep tub, an angled nozzle extension. There are three different walkthrough inserts available to service tubs with sidewalls of 9 and 1 quarter inch wide. Before we get started, let's go through how to measure the tub with the tub sizing templates. This should be done before you purchase a kit so you obtain the insert best suited for the tub you are converting. Hi, we're here today to teach everyone how to use and install a walkthrough tub insert in the quick tub conversion system. We can determine what size of insert is going to be used by a set of templates that we have. The first one is the narrow. This part always goes on the inside of the tub. This fits nicely, but it doesn't go down deep enough. The next size up, the wide. We have the same situation. It fits, but it doesn't go down deep enough on the tub. The extra deep insert allows us to take the maximum amount out of the tub wall, and in this case, leaving approximately four inches for the person to step over. Part of what we do is examine the caulking that's around the perimeter of the tub. If over time it's become mold or mildew, then we can ask the homeowner if they'd like us to replace it because this would be the best time to do so. Now that we know the correct template that should be used, to make the insert side template, you'll need the following items. You'll need a marker and tub marking templates. This overflow, we measure to the bottom of it, is four and three quarter inches. For the insert to fit properly with the quick tub cap on, we need to have it up at least another inch. Putting this on, and we see that it is also too close to the bottom of the tub. So we're going to raise this up one inch. This will allow us to position the tub marking templates so that we get the right height on the insert. Tub marking templates are used to determine where to position and cut the tub. In this example, a one inch thick spacer is placed on top of the tub to mark the tub for cutting. Once the tub marking template has been positioned at the best location along the tub wall and has the correct lift, you can begin to trace along the tub marking template. As Bob explained, there is a relationship between the tub's overflow and the functional height of the quick tub cap. The top surface of the insert must be approximately one inch higher than the bottom of the tub overflow in order for the quick tub cap to properly function when the bathtub is filled to capacity. By using this level, this is one inch wide, we place this on the top of the tub. We can now use our tub marking template to position where we're going to cut the section of the tub out. It's now time to cut the tub. Here is a list of materials you'll need. Cordless drill, jigsaw, drill bit, extension cord, extension bit driver, and a small vac with attachments. We're now going to drill four holes in the tub wall that will allow us to cut out with the jigsaw. The first hole, here at the bottom is allowing us to cut a horizontal line. Elongate the hole to allow the jigsaw blade to get in and go on either side. Now we get the jigsaw out. We've previously put the soft side of the Velcro strips on the bottom of the jigsaw shoe. This is to protect the tub from being marked. If you don't do that, you could also put green tape around the perimeter of the tub marking so that it doesn't get damaged with the jigsaw shoe. I prefer to do the inside horizontal line first because it's the most difficult.
Once you have finished cutting the bathtub, make certain that you take the time to fully clean the tub and all the surrounding areas. This is in order to ensure nothing will contaminate or adhere to the quick tub insert. You may run across a tub that has a false front or a weak inner wall. This could require additional blocking be placed in this cavity to avoid the side being pushed in with the weight of the water when the cap is in use. We're now going to make the templates. To make the insert side template, you will need the following items. Marker, some type of hard stock paper that can stand on its own. We suggest file folder or the inside of a cereal box, scissors, stiff cardboard, or thin plexiglass. I've used some heavyweight paper that I'm going to use to trace this outline of the tub, and that will then be cut and transferred onto the end of the extra deep walkthrough insert. We make a separate one for each end of the tub because this end will have a different configuration than this end. Using a marker, trace around the heavy weighted paper using the cardboard to keep it in place. Be sure to mark the pieces correctly in order to know which end is which. You know this is the right end, and that's forward. Now repeat the process. Now it's time to cut out the templates. Before we get the insert, we need to go and wash our hands to make sure there's no dirt that can transfer on to the insert. Some composite tubs have limited or no support underneath and on the side walls. It is important that you add support material as needed to ensure the tub's stability. Excessive movement when entering and exiting the tub will have a negative effect on the adhesive and its lifespan. In some cases, the horizontal face of the tub cut has curves and is not very straight. In that case, you may need to make a template for transferring those profiles onto the bottom side of the insert. It's time to cut the insert. Here are the materials you'll need. The cardboard templates, a marker, a jigsaw or rotary tool, shorter jigsaw blades, a small back with attachments, and a deburring tool. We always have to be mindful of the insert that the sloped side here goes onto the inside of the tub. This is where the seal on the quick tub cap comes in contact. It must always be on the inside of the tub. This way the seal of the insert and the quick tub cap will always be maintained. So this is the left end and this is the right. We suggest having a clean sheet for use on the floor when cutting the insert. This helps the insert from getting scuffed or dirty. We're going to position the template a little bit off center towards the front. Not much, but just a bit. We know we started a quarter of an inch, but we have to add an inch for the extra height we created. Instead of cutting about a quarter inch down from the top, we're going to come down about an inch and a quarter. So right about there. We know the front of the tub is plumb, so we're going to make the front edge parallel with the front of the insert. So we've lowered the template down, now we trace around it. In the case of this tub, we are placing the template a little off-center to the front. The top face of an insert can be made to as close as one quarter inch from the top. If you recall, we raised our cut line by one inch on the tub. As a result, our template will need to be down one and one quarter inch from the top. Due to the design of the extra deep insert, a rotary tool is better suited for cutting the insert. 
In our case, insert placement, a tub with narrow side walls or no armrests, afforded us the ability to use a jigsaw. Great care must be taken if you choose to use the jigsaw. In most cases, a jigsaw blade will be too long and will exit through the opposite wall, which in turn destroys the insert. You can begin to cut by following the lines that you drew. Keep in mind, you can always remove material, so stay on the safe side when cutting the insert. After using the jigsaw, we recommend using a deburring tool to remove the rough edges created by the jigsaw. With the insert trimmed, it's now time to do the test fit. In order to ensure proper adhesive contact and distribution, we recommend having a gap not less than 1 16th inch and no greater than 3 16th inch. Just checking around the edge for clearance. We would recommend that you use a mechanics mirror to check the underside. We're good to move on to the next step of building up the blocking to support the insert from the underside. Items needed for the blocking include drill, drill bits, screws, 2x4s, and shims. Now we've exposed the cavity. We're going to fill this with blocking so as to support the underside of this part of the insert. I've already put in two pieces of shim to start. And we're going to stack it up with the rest of the shims and the blocking. Ensure you add enough blocking so it sits right up to the underside of the insert. The blocking is right up to the underside of the insert. We are reaching the final stage, which is sealing the insert. You will need a caulking gun, an angled nozzle extension, two tubes of adhesive, paper towels, and 70% isopropyl alcohol. We're good to glue. We're going to glue the underside of the insert onto the top of the blocking first. I'll start by gluing the horizontal line on the inside of the tub. Once you have finished your adhesive bond around all facets of the insert, be sure to use a mechanics mirror to ensure that the beads of the adhesive on the inside face of the tub and insert have no gaps or is drooping. It's important that a positive, watertight seal be created. All sealed up, 24 hours from now, they'll be ready to go.